Today, I'm giving you the ultimate guide to the best in-game settings for League of Legends to maximize your FPS and your visibility. Stick around, because after we dial in your settings, I'm going to show you exactly how to eliminate those frustrating FPS stutters for good. Let's get right into it. We will start with the video settings menu. The core principle here is to prioritize performance and clarity over graphical fidelity. Every setting will be adjusted for a competitive advantage. First, resolution. Set this to your monitor's native resolution, which is typically 1920 by 1080. This ensures maximum image sharpness. Next, set your window mode to full screen. This setting allows your system to dedicate its resources to the game, resulting in the highest possible FPS and the lowest input lag. For colorblind mode, a lot of pro players use colorblind mode. The primary benefit of colorblind mode is that it changes enemies' health bars to a high contrast yellow, which is often easier to see and track during team fights than the default red. Hide eye candy should be turned on. Again, we want to reduce visual clutter. You're going to want to make sure that your screen shake is disabled because this could disorient you while you're playing. Now we will adjust the more demanding graphical settings. Set shadows to off. This is one of the most resource intensive settings in the game. Disabling it will provide a significant performance increase and improve visibility in dark areas of the map. Set both effects quality and environment quality to low. This reduces the intensity of spell effects and background details, creating a less distracting visual environment where it's easier to track important abilities. Make sure you turn anti-aliasing off. This is a cosmetic filter that can soften the image and reduce performance. We want to maintain a sharp, responsive picture. There is one exception here, which is character quality. I recommend setting this to medium or high. The performance impact is relatively low, and it ensures that champion models remain clear and well-defined during gameplay. For your frame rate cap, you're going to want to set this to the hertz of your monitor. I have a 240 hertz monitor, so I'm going to set it to 240 FPS. Ensure that your vertical sync is turned off. This will reduce any input lag or restrictions on your FPS. To further enhance visibility, you can adjust your color settings. In the in-game video settings, increasing the gamma will brighten shadowed areas. For a more significant effect, you can adjust your GPU settings. On Nvidia cards, this is called digital vibrance. On AMD cards, it's called saturation. Increasing this value will make all colors more intense, helping key game elements stand out. You can also use the color level in-game and raise that a little bit. And then your brightness and your contrast, you can raise to your personal preference. I like them a little bit higher. Now that the game's performance is optimized, let's configure the interface for clarity. Navigate to the interface settings. For HUD scale, it's recommended to set this to a lower value, between 0 and 50. A smaller HUD increases your overall field of view. Conversely, set the minimap scale to 100. A large minimap provides the best possible awareness, which is critical for making informed decisions. With these settings configured, your game should be optimized for performance and visibility. However, many of you may still experience intermittent micro stutters where the game freezes for a fraction of a second. In the next two minutes, I'm going to show you how to fix micro stutter and get smooth gameplay by perfectly locking your FPS with Riva Tuner and MSI Afterburner. This is the best method to stop stutter. It's better and more precise than using the NVIDIA control panel because it acts like a metronome for your GPU. No yapping, let's get started. First, make sure you install Riva Tuner by downloading MSI Afterburner. The link will be in the description. Riva Tuner will be installed while you're installing MSI Afterburner. Just make sure it's selected in the installation process. You can also use MSI Afterburner to overclock your GPU universally across all systems, so if you're interested in a tutorial about that, check out the description down below. Now that you've downloaded MSI Afterburner and Riva Tuner, you're going to go to your search bar and search Riva, and then just open up the application. Find the Riva Tuner icon in your system tray, the blue monitor, and open it. You're then going to go to frame rate limit and click it. The rule is to set this just below your monitor's refresh rate. I have a 240Hz monitor, so I like to set mine to 232. Press the enter key and you're done with step 1. Now for the secret sauce, sometimes Afterburner itself can cause the stutter, we're gonna fix that as well. Click the gear icon for settings in Afterburner and go to the monitoring tab. We need to turn off two settings, scroll down and find GPU power and power percent. Find it and uncheck the boxes. These settings can create an interference. We don't want that. Click apply, then OK. Step 2 is done. If you found this guide helpful, please consider liking the video. A written version of this guide will be available down below in the description. That concludes the guide. By combining the optimized in-game settings with the stutter fixes we just covered, you should now have a much smoother and clearer gameplay experience.